Welcome to Around the Dog World in the rolling Malvern Hills. Today is the first general championship show of the new term. Welcome to West of England Ladies Kennel Society. Now, the eagle-eyed of you may have already noticed that we welcome a very familiar face back to Around the Dog World, Marina Scott. Hello. It's lovely to have you back. Is it, is it a familiar setting? Yes, it is. I've been to Welks for many years. Um, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's raining and windy. Like uh, this. Yeah, well, today it's a bit nippy, hence yeah. the jacket. Hence the, hence, <laughs> hence the wear. Um, and someone else we welcome back in front of the cameras is Simon Parsons. You're going to be our e expert all weekend, aren't you, Simon? <laughs> and it's a very familiar setting here with the Malvern Hills in the background. Um, what does Welks mean to you? Oh, it's a, a show I've been coming to, oh, I think, for over 40 years now. It's, for mo most dog people, it's quite a special one because it starts the outdoor show season. The setting is, is so beautiful just underneath the hills that, that it's a, a great favourite of many of us. Mm. Um, now, as per usual, we need to run over the previous Best in Show winners since our last outing at National Terrier. A week after was a trip north of the border, Hound Association of Scotland, and this year's Crafts Reserve Best in Show winner gets her hands on the Best in Show rosette. Indeed. It was a, it was a, a nice win in Scotland for a, a Scottish-owned dog. Uh, this is the Whippet champion, nothing compares to you at Crosscop. Very ambitious name, I feel, but one that has been proven by, by events. Yeah. And Hazel has certainly made a, a spectacular start to this year's season. She was top winner in the breed last year, but this year she's being noticed at, at uh, Group and Best in Show level. And from Scotland, we went to Wales for Working and Pastoral Breeds of Wales a week later, where we saw a dog winning a second ticket, yes. going best in show, a Bernese Mountain Dog. Yes, this is a, a, a youngster. He's only just 15 months old. His name is an another one which uh, shows the owners had quite a lot of confidence in him when he was a youngster because <laughs> he's called Meadow Park High Class. I think this win is quite an unusual one because this breed with its great bone and, and tremendous substance usually takes quite a long time to mature. So he, at just 15 months, old is obviously quite quite a precocious lad <laughs> and Simon your weekend is going to be rather full isn't it uh, well, in, in the afternoons <laughs> each day I've, I've got four of the the, the stakes classes to judge the these are uh, variety classes open to all, all breeds scheduled scheduled on the day in some some of the classes there is uh, for, by dog show standards, excellent prize money. I think in one of the classes you've got uh, 50 pounds for first place, which you know, it makes makes a worthwhile <laughs> trip trip for, for the exhibitor. The yeah. So, so, so I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on 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 some some hopefully some some exciting dogs. I've got some some veterans, some some champions, and some who have won through the Kennel Club Good Citizen Scheme. Uh, so it should be a, an enjoyable day, I hope. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, thank and you. we look forward to speaking to you later on. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, that's us all up to date, so we can step into the main ring for the first time tonight. And day one of Welks is Gun Dog and Toys and we're going straight to the main ring to see the toy group judged by Dominic Brown. Let's show our appreciation of them. And the first to move is the Bichon Frise, number 2049. <laughs> the Chinese Crested, number 2415. The Long Coat Chihuahua, number 2265. The Havanese, number 2533. The Japanese Chin, number 2575. The King Charles Spaniel, number 2721. The Papillon, number 2840. The Pomeranian, number 2904. And from the not classified, the Maltese Terrier, number 3095. Taking a final look at these dogs. Decision has been made. Who is going to be the winner of our first group at Welks 216? And the winner is 
the Pomeranian. Number 2904. Group two is the Japanese Chin. Group three is the Chinese Crested. And group four is the Bichon Frise. Please give a round of applause to those leaving the ring. Well done. The toy group has just finished and it has been won by this gorgeous little pom. And Sue, just tell us a little bit about Frida because uh, it's quite a unique win today, isn't it? It is, yes. Frida was from uh, Norway and this is the first white champion uh, pre-war. Yeah. Pre-war? So, uh, so it's really a good, a good thing, yes. You know, what's so special about Frida then? I just love her to bits, yeah. <laughs> I've won nearly 100 challenge certificates and this is the first ever group. Yeah, so... That's amazing. So it's a very special day. It's a really, really special day today, yeah. Well, it's also a special day for the group judge as well because I understand it's your first time awarding the two toy group. That's and how did you feel it went? I think it went very well. I did what I wanted to do and something different, so uh, I was quite pleased. And she is rather exceptional, so it, it, uh, it's great. And also that she's been made up today, That's, uh, uh, but that's down to Howard. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you've been obviously been in dogs for some years and then when you come to actually judging the group for the very first time was it everything that you kind of thought you hoped it to be uh, yes i suppose so yes uh, expected a bit more but no it's uh, it's not that it's just a, a judging experience isn't it but uh, uh, one, one step further up shall we say and we're loving your outfit as well oh thank you thank you i do try <laughs> and just one quick word with howard ogden if that's okay here's the breed judge today now you obviously saw something special in frida as well well, yes, I wouldn't have believed, uh, setting off this morning, that I've ended up with um, the first white Pomeranian. But she's fantastic. She's everything a Pomeranian should be, but with this ice white coat. And all credit to Sue that she's bold with the, with the colours. Here is something completely different, but fantastic. And it's great that people have recognised her. The first one to move is a German short-haired pointer. The Irish Setter. <laughs> the Logotto. <laughs> the Flat Coat Retriever. <laughs> the Labrador Retriever. The Columbus Spaniel. The Irish Water Spaniel. The German Wirehead Pointer. The Weimarana. And the pointer. I think we're almost ready for the boards. I do apologise. Another short listing. We have the Irish Setter, the Irish Water Spaniel, German Wirehead Pointer, and the pointer. Round of applause for those leaving, please. Thank you. We're going to see them go around. Come on. We are ready for the boards this time. Thank you, gentlemen. And the winner of the... Dundalk Group Welch 216 is the Pointer. Group 2 is the Spanish Irish Water Spaniel. Group 3 is G German Wirehead Pointer. And Group 4, the Irish Setter.
Well done. Thank you. In stark contrast to the toy group that we've just seen, the Gundor group was won by Juicy the Pointer, who is no stranger to the main ring. Congratulations, taking her 33rd ticket today. That's incredible. Thank you very much. You're totally over the moon. I mean, I can't believe she's won 33 tickets. I mean, it's, it's crazy, and it, she just gets better at every show. So. Now, we were sat watching a lot of the pointer judging today. It was second in the ring, which is quite unusual in itself. Yeah, very unusual. I think it's the only show we have where we're second in the ring, which is very unusual for pointer people to be waiting around but um, so we only just made it for the group but we got here so <laughs> and did you think that affected her performance at all in the in the breed no not at all no she'll show all day long I mean she comes straight out of um, the challenge and straight into the group and she showed better than she did in the breed so the longer she goes the better she gets <laughs> well very best of luck for Sunday I know you've won well under Valerie Foster best in show judge does that make you a little bit more nervous no I mean um, she's one of the best you know all-round judges so she'll do what what she thinks is best so I mean it's nice going in knowing that you've done well under a judge so we'll see well Kathy Gundog group judge at Welks 2016 what did you think of the dogs you had today? Uh, I had a very nice group of dogs, some better than others, obviously. Everyone can't win, but some very nice ones. I was looking for dogs that were well-constructed, fit, and good movers, and I think I found that in my final four. Um, the, the commentator said that you've shown and worked dog. Does that give you a different perspective on, on the dog? Um, I think it does. I do like a dog to be well muscled to show that it, you know, it has had a lot of exercise and it is capable of doing the job of work that it was bred for. And your winner, Juicy the Pointer. We've seen her plenty on the programme. Just outstanding. She just floated around the ring. Couldn't be denied, really. And um, she just, like, wowed me. That's <laughs> all I can say. Very nice. Very feminine beautiful mover and just so nice to go over. And Juicy is uh, best in show winner before. Think she can go on go on again? I think so. I don't think she's done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to us. Congratulations on judging. Thank you. Welcome back to Around the Dog World here at Welks 2016. Today is day two, turn of pastoral and utility breeds. But first of all, we need to have a quick review of yesterday's groups with our expert this weekend, Simon Parsons. Mm -hmm. Simon, mm -hmm. an incredible historic win in the toy group yes, uh, yes, for a Pomeranian. Uh, indeed, uh, so, something, something rather different. I mean, it's not, certainly not unusual for a Pomeranian to win a group, but this particular one was, was rather exciting because she, she is a, a white Pomeranian. When the breed was being uh, very popular in the Victorian era, you got quite a lot of different colours, but right. uh, nowadays mo most of the ones you see are um, orange or, or sable or, or black. But, but this is, the, I believe, the first white Pomeranian champion for goodness I knows how many years. Wow. And then in group two, we had yeah. a Japanese chin. Yes, first and second in the group, both new champions on the day, so no doubt some very happy owners. This one is the late, latest in a long line of champion Japanese chin, bred and owned by Tony Orcock, who's one, one of our most successful exhibitors, as there many Japanese chins who've won toy groups. So who knows what we'll, this one will get in the future. And we had a dog in the Gundog group that mm. nearly missed the group yes, altogether. Yes, yes. The pointer <laughs> in yes, for Cathy Gorman. Yes, yes. Juicy wins yes. another group. Yes, I mean, she, she, was, she was one of our uh, top dogs of, of all breeds last year. Well known and uh, admired by all. But uh, as you say, this time the breed judging d didn't finish until just moments before the group ring. Uh, she rushed down, just made it and won y yet another victory. Yeah. Yeah. And then in group two we had Judith Carruthers who we've seen so many times yes, yes. featured on Around the Dog World. Yes, yes, I mean we, we all know her for, the, for her famous Merlin, a uh, uh, dog of enormous character. Irish Water Spaniel. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, Irish Water Spaniel that she imp imported from uh, America. Well, but the one we, uh, we saw uh, yesterday was uh, a daughter of Merlin, bred in this country, showing that the, the bloodlines mix well. Um, and both of you today have rosettes. <laughs> si Simon, you were judging lots of states classes, yes, 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 yes. As, as you were on the first day. But Marina, you have had a bit of, bit of success today. I did. Um, I was showing a Dalmatian for a really good friend of mine and some breeders. And um, they were all here today to see Violet. And we have hoped to win a class, maybe, but we ended up winning the CC, her first and best of wow. breed. <laughs> so yes, really yes, excited yes. about going yeah. in the group, yeah, well, being in front of the camera again. Yeah, can't, can't get rid of you. Can't get enough. Um, well, thank you, Simon. Thank you. And very best of luck, Thank Marina. you. First of all is the utility group, judged by Peter Young.
Paul and Haley, what a year you're having. Oh, very good. I'm made up with the dog. Absolutely made up. And the judges. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just a dog you're winning with at the moment, is it? No, no, it's a, our bitch as well. They share the same mum, but different fathers. <laughs> but she's she's done quite a lot of winning this year as well. But but Tyler, in, in that group ring, he just he, he seems to have endless energy. Too much, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a puppy. <laughs> He looks in such great condition. Is he exercised a lot? How much is that energy just bred into him? It's, it's just well, he does exercise every day, like, but he's just hypo. He's not hypo, but you know, <laughs> playful. Yeah. Congratulations, and see you again on Sunday. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. Well, Peter, congratulations on judging the utility group. Tyler the Bulldog. What did you make of him? I thought he was very honest. True to type, dog fit for function, very capable, clear of exaggerations, and very able-bodied. He, he certainly pleased a lot of people, hasn't he? Oh, he's got a big fan club, but I mean, he's a British dog, and it's a British week this week, isn't it? So, but a lot, lot of the dogs are well supported, which was nice to see. But, but today was fantastic, and another well supported dog, the Akita, uh, in second. Well, the Akita, again, has done a lot of winning, and, and you see these dogs in the papers on a week in, week out, but when you actually see them in the flesh, they're d different from what they are on a page. The last pick-out was very competitive, but there are a lot of very young dogs in the group which will be stars of the future.
Oh, Steve, you're looking a little bit emotional after that. That's, yeah, I think out of all of the wins we've had, especially with her father, Elmo, um, it, I'm just really emotional because obviously of the, the current situation with the German Shepherd world at the moment, for us to come and get the opportunity to, to show this female and be appreciated. For us, this is a really emotional moment. It really is, John, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, uh, the last year's German Seeger, she was V10, so, and she was uh, the top female in the bite work. You know, so uh, we're, well, we're just over the moon. This was her third CC. And, uh, and um, her, uh, she had a, uh, her first puppy out today, uh, <laughs> in minor puppy, a uh, male, and he was second. So it's been a, he was six months and one day. So it's been, all in all, it's been a fantastic day today. Yeah, it really has. And three CCs today, what can she go on to? Um, we, we, we'll campaign her this year. Uh, and then we'll probably mate her and have some more puppies with her. You know. and, and Steve, you're, you're a handler. When you come into the ring, do you take a look around? Do, do you yeah, see what the competition yeah, is? Yeah. When I get in the collecting ring, I always do that. You know, John is, a, is, is the boss who uh, keeps, <laughs> us all, keeps us all calm. Well, but, and he's yeah. a bit more cautious in his predictions. For me, <laughs> as a handler, as you said, you know, um, to come in the ring with a bitch like this, everyone can see I don't have to touch her. You know, she is so controlled. She is like a, a carbon copy of, of a father. You know, she's of that ilk, absolutely. She's a special one, a real special one. Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day three of Welk's Championship Dog Show 2016. Yesterday was the turn of utility and pastoral groups and first up was the utility group Simon uh, which was judged by Peter Young. Yeah, this was Peter's first uh, uh, appointment at, the, at that level. He's a, a poodle expert. But we had a bulldog winning. We did. The bulldog was familiar I'm sure to mo most of you. Uh, Tyler has won three best in show all breeds at championship show level. He's won the champions contest twice running which I, I think no other dog has ever done no. and a, a real extrovert as you can see. Yes yeah and then and runner-up place was another very familiar dog as well, which is the Akita. Yes, yes, a very, very feminine bitch who all, all always catches the eye in the group ring, yes. Uh, we move on to the pastoral group um, and a fantastic win mm -hmm. for the German Shepherd. Yes, yes, uh, German Shepherds, there's been a, lo a lot of discussion about the, the breed and the, the direction it's been, been going in, so I think the um, it, audience on the day were, were delighted to see one who has got a very sound temperament and is a, a, a beautiful mover, as I'm, I'm sure you can see, so I think it, it proved to be a very popular win for this bitch who's spent a, uh, quite a lot of time in Germany where she's mm. she's won more I think than any other British bred bitch uh, out there now she's come home and became a British champion on the day and in second in the pastoral group was a uh, kennel mate of a best and show winner last year a Hungarian Puli yes yes the, the Hungarian Puli with its very very distinctive uh, uh, corded coat is one of those breeds which go on looking as good forever and, <laughs> and he's, he's now into uh, double figures of age but still uh, mo moving wow. with the same sort of, sort of style and once again the people sitting to my left have been very busy. <laughs> uh, Simon, you, you judged the yeah. four stakes classes this weekend yeah, and yes. you had the final of the champion stakes yes, today. Yes, yes. Um, you couldn't keep a smile off your face. No, I mean, the, the, <laughs> uh, the class, class is full of, of beautiful champions. Uh, I mean, what more could a, a dog enthusiast ask for? Today's class was, 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 was particularly strong and it was one of those where, I mean, it, it really hurt you to have to leave, leave out any of them, <laughs> yes. let, let alone reduce them down to six and to, to choose a winner from that. But ended up with the, the Whippet bitch who's been, been on, on a good run this year. Who yeah. I had a, a, a big ring and she just sort of floated around it. Yeah. So, so, and so she's she just got the, on the uh, ticket best of breed as well in oh, the breed. Yeah, so so we'll which is even better. Yeah, yes, yes. we'll see how she goes later. Yeah. Well, congratulations to both of you. We've had a busy weekends. Thank you. We head back into the main ring now for the working group, judged for the first time by Tan and Gretchen. The first dog to move is going to be the Alaskan Malamute. Next we have the Bull Mastiff, number 7124. And now the Great Dane, number 7359. The Portuguese Water Dog.
Now we have the Rockweiler. And the final dog to move in this group is the Bouvier de Flanders. Number 7710. Tan has called for the boards. I think he's made a decision. And the winner of the group is the Portuguese water dog. Number 7534. Group two is the Bouvier de Flandres. Group three, the Paul Mastiff. And group four, the Great Dane. Please give a round of applause for those leaving the ring. Well done. Congratulations, you're the winner of the working group. So this is Romeo, isn't it? Yeah, this is Romeo. He's, uh, he's a very lovely boy, isn't he? Yeah. He's uh, from Canada, um, US bred. Uh, he's over here till October. Uh, this is his second year in the country. Last year he got top dog in, a, in the breed. Uh, he also got two group ones and many other group placings. Uh, this is fourth CC today, so I'm quite happy. Quite happy about that. And, Okay. And a group win. <laughs> and a and a group group win. win. Well, many congratulations. You've got a few minutes now until going in for Best in Show. What are your thoughts for that now? Just go out and do my best. He's a great performer, so I'm sure he'll do his best. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Tan, first working group, but yes. you really look like you knew what you were looking for. Um, yes, I'm familiar with a lot of the working breeds, so uh, yes, you know, it, it is something that I've lived with for the last 25 years, not all the breeds, but familiar with them. So yeah, I felt very comfortable in there. And what about your Portuguese water dog? I think he's a smashing dog, so moderate, so clean, lovely for size and outline. His, his movement is very accurate coming and going, and he holds all my five, six short lists, held their shape on the round, and that was really important to me. And the Portuguese just, just put that little bit extra in for me. It's not a big group here, but how do you think quality was? A very good quality, exceptional quality. I think all six, uh, well, fabulous examples of the breed. Thank you very much, Tan. Congratulations. Thank you. And the first to move is going to be the Beagle. Now the Borzoi. Now the Deerhound. Greyhound. Now the Wolfhound. The Norwegian Elkhound. The Whippet. Final dog to move is the Petit Basset Grafond Fondant. A decision to be made from some lovely dogs. And the winner of the Hound Group is the Whippet. Well done. Group two. Is the Borzoi, well done. Group three is the Beagle. And group four is the Wolfhound. A round of applause to those leaving the ring, please. Charlie, what a couple of months you're having. <laughs> I can't believe it, honestly. It just, I know she's good, but I just, we're speechless, absolutely speechless. <laughs> <laughs> um, and t today alone, you've won the Champions State Express to Breed and now the group, it's incredible. Yeah, she's, you know, she's just come, just leaps and bounds into you know, up from top puppy 2014, I just never thought that she'd do so well. And 
I'm so glad that we didn't put her away and kept her <laughs> and kept her going. Well, congratulations. You've got a few minutes to rest and show up. We'll see you in there. Thank you. Thank you. So, Sue, um, how was that for you? Um, yeah, it was good. I mean, it was a nice, it was a really good selection and the whippet was just beautiful and she totally flows. Um, and the, I've always loved Borzois and I thought, oh, yeah, this is quite nice and it was very good, very true for an art, so that was good. Um, and the beagle, she just went, went really well and as did the wolfhound, so I was really pleased with those four. And the others that were in the, in the cut, they, they were really nice. So, yeah, good, good, I was really pleased. We're so pleased that you're pleased, thank you. <laughs> right, let's have some enthusiastic support for these dogs. Not only will it help them, it will help to keep you warm. Let's have the Bedlington. <laughs> the Irish Terrier. The Manchester Terrier. The Norfolk Terrier. The West Highland White. And the Wire Fox Terrier. decision has been made and it is the Bedlington Terrier. Well done. Group two is the Norfolk Terrier, group three the Irish Terrier and group four the Manchester Terrier. A round of applause for those leaving the ring please. Lorraine, many congratulations. Is that a first group win for you ever? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> You've been in dogs for many, many years? Yes, 26 years, yes. And just tell us a little bit about this Bedlington. Um, it's uh, a sunny Miss Posh Dreams. Uh, the, oh, I'm just nervous, <laughs> it's shaking. <laughs> it's okay, um, my name's Indy and she's got five CCs and this is our first best of breed, so it's nice to get in the group with her. And is it even more special winning under someone like Leslie Crawley? Yes. Yes, and I can't stop shaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to stop shaking because you're going to go and best in show in just yes. a few minutes. So just go and calm down, yes, have a drink. I yes, I might. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you. Well, Leslie, a, a small terrier group, but did you feel that was that was high quality today? There were some really nice dogs there, some quite young. Um, I couldn't do more with them because of immaturity, but yeah. in the future they'll probably go on and do very well. But uh, on the whole, yes, considering how small the group is, yes, yeah. I was quite pleased with them, yes. And what about this Bedlington in, in first? Uh, well, I've never seen it before myself, but um, uh, I just thought it was very nice and a very typical Bedlington and performed very well until the poor lady got a little bit nervous. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, very best of luck for the Bedlington and Best in Show. Thank you very much. you to our best in show judge today, that's Mrs. Valerie Foss. And first into the ring from the first day is the Pointer, the Pomeranian, the German Shepherd, the Bulldog, the Whippet, the Portuguese Water Dog and the Bedlington Terrier. And the first dog to be examined is the Pointer. This one, the group under Kathy Gorman. The breed judge was Mrs. Anne Lennox. It is a bitch, and her number is 655. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pointer. And now from the toy group, the breed judge was Mr. Howard Ogden. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Pomeranian. From the pastoral group, where the judge was Miss Alina Hapanimi, the German Shepherd, the breed judge was Mrs. E. Cartledge. Ladies and gentlemen, the German Shepherd. And from the utility group, which was judged by Mr. Peter Young, we have the Bulldog. The breed judge was Mr. Jeff Lane. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bulldog. And from the hand group today, where the judge was Mrs. Sue Urgis, the Whippet. The breed judge was Mrs. Mary Rigby. Ladies and gentlemen, the Whippet. And from the working group today, which was judged by Mr. Tan Negretcha, um, the Portuguese water dog, the breed judge was Alina Hapanimi, the Portuguese water dog. And again from today, from the terrier group, it was judged by Mrs. Leslie Crawley, the Bedlington Terrier. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bedlington. The breed judge was Mr. Peter Kernman. The exhibit number is 7737, and it's a dog. A very tense moment for everyone. Going to see the dogs move again, I think. First the pointer. Pomeranian. Now the German Shepherd. The Bulldog. And now the Whippet. Portuguese water dog. And the Bedlington Terrier. A decision I think has been made. Who is to be best in show at Welks 216? Well done. <laughs> and the reserve best in show is the German Shepherd. Well done to the, the rest of you. Give the others a round of applause, please. Well done. Well done. So here we are with the lady of the moment, or ladies I should say, this is Hazel and Charlie, many congratulations, it must be a pretty good day? Yeah, do you know what? nothing compares, I mean like, she's done so well and the fact that she won the champ stakes, she won best of breed, then she came in here and she's just been on the go all day and she's just never, never stopped, she's just a star, absolute star. I love how you started that sentence with nothing <laughs> compares, because obviously her show name is nothing compares to Crosscop? Yeah. Well, as a puppy, nothing did compare to her, and I mean, our first show, Lee told me that if she didn't win, she'd cry because she was that special. <laughs> so, I mean, she's always been on top for us, yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> and Lee's obviously one of the co-owners and breeders. Yeah, uh, Lee and George, uh, I own Cross Cop Kennel with them, so we own her as well. Um, the breeder's actually someone called Diane Bernard, yeah. um, she's from Cumbria Way, and uh, so she'll be really, really, really happy. I'm really happy. Like you say, it's been a really long day because you won the Yukonuba Champion Stakes as well. And then there were over, what, 300 whippets here. I mean, like, 
it's it's always tough when you get through to the final competition and winning through to best in show and having to keep your cool and and keep the dogs cool as well i mean it's been really cold at welks but how have you managed to, to sort of keep her on top and on top form all the way through is there a secret well she likes sleeping so as soon as she's done as soon as she's done her piece she always goes back to her bed for a wee snooze and then comes back up when she needed so she's pampered absolutely pampered spoil rotten and so she's probably going to get spoiled and rotten for some time to come now. Definitely, yeah. She, I mean, she'll sleep in bed tonight, like always, so she can't really get much more spoiled than that. <laughs> so she's a real special girl. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? Yeah. I mean, Lee picked her at two days, saw her at two weeks again. She, she was the pick. And then when she came at six weeks, the first picture I've got of her is her eating my hair. So, I mean, she's always been so naughty, but she's just perfect in every way. Well, Val, best in show at Welks and whip it. Hazel was your winner. Yes, well, she was lovely. I did judge her at Whippet of the Year, and I thought she was lovely then. Mm. But she just, she moves so beautifully as well. And her outline is excellent. And um, what about the, the quality of those, those seven dogs? It was quite oh, a tense atmosphere. Fantastic, no. There were marvellous group judges, and they sent forward really good dogs. If you hadn't have had those two, you could have had another two. Um, and the, the second was the German Shepherd, um, uh, a time when it's much maligned, it's an often well, used word. but She's just a lovely, unexaggerated German Shepherd, moves well, front and rear, and in profile obviously, which is the, just a lovely pleasure to go over. And did you know who your winners were? Were you quite excited to see some of them in, in the best ensuring? Well, I knew what had won on the first day and I was pleased that the pointer, which is a great favourite, yeah. had won through. And um, I was very taken by the pomp. They were all lovely. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Congratulations for judging Best in Show. Thank you very much. So Best in Show here at Welts 2016 was Hazel the Whippet. Simon, I can imagine you're pretty chuffed because you judged that early in the day as yes, well yes. in a stakes class. Yes, yes. And yes, you put it through as your winner as well. Yes, what well, well, wonderful day for her owners. <laughs> I'm sure they're, they're even, even happier because uh, she first qualified for the final of the Yukonuba Champion Stakes, which yes. will take place le later this year, which could mean that she could, she could go off to the grand final in... Yes. Uh, Amsterdam if she wins it yeah. uh, and then she wins her first all breed championship show best in show <laughs> she's had the most amazing year being reserve best in show at crafts best in show at a, a group show in, in uh, a few weeks ago and now the, the ultimate the all, all breed best in show so, so amazing how, how does she feel as good as she looks yes 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 uh, and, and she's particularly good 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 on the move where she just sort of floats around the ring. We, we, she we, looked we, effortless. Yes, yeah, absolutely, which is what, what you want in any dog, particularly a, a sporting dog like herself. But yeah. before we wrap everything up, the working group was first. Uh, we haven't got a great deal of time, but Portuguese water dog under Tan Negretcha. Yes, he's an American dog who came over to Britain for the season last year and I think won a, won a couple of groups, went home again, and has now come back and <laughs> seems to be on, um, barking on it all over again. Um, and then, of course, we had the Whippet in the Hound group, but yeah. last of all, the Bedlington Terrier. Yeah wins the, the Terrier yes. group under Leslie Crawley. Yes, this is um, uh, a, a judge, I think, like all today's judges, that people would always be pleased to win under because of her record as, as a breeder. This has come from a very consistent kennel in, 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 in Scotland, which has been uh, producing champion Bedlingtons for many years now. So another Scottish win for the show, like, just like the Whippet. Yeah. <laughs> um, and tonight felt quite tense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was very yeah. quiet. You yeah. literally yeah. could hear yeah. a pin drop. Yes, yes. I think all um, all the dogs had their own supporters yes. and they were all cl clapping away there for, for their own particular one. So at the beginning of the season, we're beginning to get some possible contenders for, for top dog awards later in the year. So I was about, yeah. to, yes. I was about to ask that. The, the yeah. Whippet yeah. having had such a good run, that's yes. got yes. to put her in such good yeah. contention yeah. already. Yeah, and the consistent bulldog who, who's had, had a good, good start to the year as well is yeah. an, an, another, an, another one who, who won today. So it would be interesting to see how the, the points tally up during the rest of the season. Yeah, it certainly will. Yeah. Well, thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you, Marina, for joining us again. Hopefully we'll see you both throughout the year. So we will. Congratulations to Hazel. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you again at Scottish Kennel Club.